Hello everybody, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. As always, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also hop over to codekarate.com, sign up for the newsletter over here on the left, and check out the other videos and posts. Yesterday we discussed a little on the Entity Reference Pre-Populate module, and today we're go doing something similar that still has something to do with the Entity Reference module, which we have video, or I have a video on that in a past Daily Dose of Drupal episode. Today we're going over the Entity Connect module. And this is going to be a very simple module that we'll be able to run through pretty quickly, but it does some pretty cool things. So you go ahead and get that downloaded and installed. I already have it downloaded and we're going to hop over to the test site here. One of the issues with Entity Reference that you may run into is let's if you remember from yesterday we have a client and a contact content type one of each and the contact content type has an entity reference field to the client content type so if I go to add a new contact I can give this a name a body for the contact and there's an entity reference field right here and as you can see it references clients so I can reference any client that I have in this list but what if when I'm adding an actual contact I need to add a client that doesn't exist yet so maybe this is the first contact for this client and I need to make sure that there's a client here so in order to actually do this now I would have to come in and say okay well first I need to add a client save it and after that then I could come in and add a contact so I could come down here and now this test client will be available but what I really want to do is I want to be able to do this in one step or I don't want to have to go to the add a client page and then come back to this add a contact page because I could have gotten down to this section of the form and have filled out and put a big body text in here a phone number and then realized that oh no I now need to create this client first so the entity connect module is going to fix all those problems for us and it's going to do so in a really easy to use way so I'm going to go ahead and turn this entity connect module on and I'll save this. Looks like there are some permissions for it, but there isn't a configuration page. It just works when you turn it on. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to add a contact. And this, I believe, works on any entity reference field. As you can see in the documentation or the actual page on Drupal.org, it says it works with entity reference and the references module if you're still using that. So now when I create a contact, I can add the body, the phone number, and I come down here. You can see now there's two little buttons over here. One is for adding a new client, so we'll go ahead and try that. I click add and it brings me to a new page where I can say, I can add my client you can see this is just that same client add form and now when I save this it immediately brings me back to the form I was filling out it has all the information still in it and it automatically fills in this client with the one I just created so now when I save it it references the client correctly it created a client and a contact all in one straightforward step well, there was, it was a couple steps, I guess, but it was straightforward. I didn't have to go to different node add pages and do it in the right order. It just allowed me to do everything right from there. Also, you can edit this client. So if I'm coming in to edit the contact, I can then click this edit button. I can add some information, save it, and it will bring me back to the contact form that I was filling out 
it has the edited client. You can also do this with another client. If you're going and you're adding one and then you remember that you need to change the name or you see a misspelling or something like that, you can So you can change the na actual name of it, save it, and as you can see, it of course changed the the name on the client reference or the entity reference field there. So that's really all there is to the Entity Connect module. It's very simple, very easy to use. It's going to you know save you headaches if you're filling out long forms that have entity reference fields in it, as it allows you to easily jump back and forth between the referenced entity and either adding a new one or editing and also the new actual content type or node that you're creating. So that's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. Next time we'll be on episode 100 so tune in for that one. And as always, thanks for watching. See you later.